Hello there. Do you have a business analyst interview coming up shortly? If so, this is one of the videos for you. In this video, we're going to discuss the different types of SQL joins. This is a follow up uh, video to our uh, interview questions on SQL. And uh, in this video, we're going to specifically uh, talk about the SQL joins because this is the part where you know, it's a little confusing topic and I want to clear it out in this video. So after this video, you'll be able to you know, tell what are the different types of joins and their syntax and what is the use, why basically it's used. So I'm going to cover all of these. I'm going to first uh, go over the uh, different joins, explain them and then go to the uh, SQL, uh, you know, query. I'll write it and execute it and show it on the screen so that you'll be able to grasp the concepts. So let's get started. So different types of joins. Uh, I have picked up around six different types of joins uh, which can be done uh, in SQL. So first off, what is the use of a join? Basically, a join is used to kind of uh, get data from two different tables and uh, there would be one particular field which they'll try, you know, which will be a common link between table one and table two, and you'll try to get the different records, uh, different column uh, values from these two tables. So that's the uh, primary purpose of using a join. And then the first type of join is the inner join, which is the easiest. We have table one and table two. When you use inner join, it will only fetch records which have matching values on both tables. So there will be like, let's say five records on this side and there'll be like uh, three records on the table two. And if, if you're able to you know, use that column name to match and when you do an inner join, it will return three, three rows. So we're gonna look at all the examples in the subsequent slide, but I just, in this slide, I wanna cover the differences and kind of give a quick overview of this particular joins. The second one is the left outer join. So left outer join fetches all the records from table one and only the matched uh, ones from table two. So that's the left outer join. And the third one is the right outer join. It's a rep, it's the opposite of the left outer. So it fetches all the records from table two and only the matched uh, records from table one. So that's your right outer join. The fourth type is the full outer join. It basically fetches the records where there's a match in either table one or table two. And the fifth one is the self join. Self join, it's basically to match the records in the same table. There's no two tables, there's only a single table. It's gonna match the records on the same table. The last one, uh, last type of join I would say is the union. So basically all the five were used to kind of match based, based on the uh, different tables and you know the values on table. This one union uh, kind of uh, concatenates and matches based on two different SQL queries. So we're gonna look at all these things with examples and with details in the subsequent slide, but this is just a overview. So we have six type of uh, joins and uh, these are the different ones. So let's cover one by one in detail. So as we always do, we'll try to take a case study and then use, using that drive the concepts. So in this case study, we have two tables. The first table is called customer table. It has like three columns, customer number, customer name and city where the customer belongs to. And the next one is the table two, which is the order, order table, orders table, I would say order table. We just named it order. So it basically contains the order details. So we have one first column order number. Then we have the second column, which is a customer number. So this second column customer number is the one which is common in both the tables. And we'll be using this particular column customer number to match and do the joins. Then we have the category order amount and also the mode in which the customer paid for that particular order. So these are the two different tables, customer table and order table, and we'll be using them to uh, you know, demonstrate the different joins. Okay, I think we got that sorted. So let's go to the first one, which is the inner join. So inner join, as we uh, discussed earlier, it's gonna fetch only records that have matching values in both the tables. So the syntax is uh, as this, so it select column names, whatever column names you want from both the tables. From table one, inner join, 
table two on which is that particular common column so so that is the uh, matching criteria so for our example i've already written this sql query uh, we're going to take the order number from the orders table customer name from the customer table and category from the orders table and we're going to match it on the cust number on both the tables as i told earlier this is the co common column in both the tables and we're going to match it so what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, a service or an sql online editor uh, it's sqlfiddle.com you can go and check it out and uh, it's 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 free uh, you can kind of go and uh, use this to execute sql uh, queries for you know for you know um, learning and also fine tuning it so i've already done this uh, so first in this sql fiddle there are two things one is first you need to kind of create the table so i've already created it and the right box is basically to run the uh, sql select statements so if you so i've created the table called customer as we saw in our example and also the table called orders and i've inserted in the values which we saw in the example so if i do a select select star from customer table yeah i run a sql so you'll see the customer number customer name and city which kind of matches to what we have in the in the case study customer table we have four records john doe jane doe tom jack and all the example values similarly if i do a star for orders table okay here you go one two three four five it has five columns and all the ones which we have listed here is all there so i created this table so you can also go to sqlfiddle.com and try to execute the SQL queries. Uh, this is the left hand side is basically to build it, to create the table and uh, load it with values. And on the right, right hand box, which we have, this is where you'll do all your select statements and test it out. Okay, so this is the uh, premise and yeah, so let's first, first off, we're going to do with the inner join. So as stated, I've already written the query here. I'm just going to call, copy and paste it. So basically, I'm going to select the column name, order number, customer name, categories, and we're going to base it on the customer number column. We're going to match it, inner join it on the customer number. So it returns only two rows. So, the, so let's let's go back and look at the table. So it returns only two rows because only the, the matching ones are only these two. So it has fetched the order number, one zero zero one ending with last four digits zero zero one zero zero one and one zero zero five so that is the order number then we it got the customer name from customer table john doe and jane doe and also the category it got from the orders table yep so as you see it this query returned uh, values from two different tables and it matched on a particular column since there's only two Two, row, two values which are matching, that's the reason it returned only two, okay? So that's your inner join. And uh, moving on to the next one. So from a business perspective, if you look at it, inner join is used exactly in this example as we provided. If you want to find out the orders made by uh, the customers, and then you can you can you can use this so there will be you know different tables uh, created you know segmented so they'll have one list of customers in one table and the order their database will be like uh, you know it will have everything but if you want to kind of take this segment of customers from table a and you want to find out the orders which this particular customer segment have made then you can use the inner join it will only fetch the orders made by the particular uh, customer segment in table A. Okay, that's one example I would say. Moving on, the next one is the left outer join. So as we discussed earlier, it fetches all the records from table one and the matched ones in table two. Syntax is similar. You select the column names, whichever you want from either tables. And then from table one, 
left join is the syntax to table two and then match it on a particular column name. So as in our example, again, I've written the query. So I'm just going to put it here. So we're going to select the customer name and order number, customer name from customer table, order number from orders table, from customer. So from customer will be our table one and it is going to left join to orders, which will be our table two. And again, we are just matching it on the customer number from both the tables. Click on ex execute. Yep. If you see this, re this returns four uh, rows because the table one was customer and it has four rows. And if you see it has uh, written all the customer name here. So John do to Jack, everything is here as per the table one. But if you look at the order number, it has only written values for two. The reason is there was only a match for customer number one and five. Hence it had written the order number ending with 001 and 005. And if you see, there is no order number for uh, Tom or Jack because there was no no match on the right hand side on 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 the right table. So that's that's the left outer join. So if you want to have a check again, who are the list of customers and what are their order numbers you want to visualize? Again, you can use the left outer join. So similarly, we will go to the right outer join. Again, it's uh, opposite of the left outer join. It will fetch all the records from table two and only the match records from table one. Syntax is similar, except the thing is, instead of left join, it will be right join. I've written the um, SQL already for this. I'm just going to copy paste it here and click on execute. Now, if you see the rows returned is only three because that's the number of uh, rows we have in the right table or table two, which is order. And then order number 001, 005, 15. So all of the records in table two are displayed and are fetched and displayed, but only the matching records, which is again one and five, customer name John Doe and Jane, Jane Doe are basically displayed. And if and there's no match, that's why we have a null value. So this is how you know, you do a right outer join, it fetches the records from the right table and also the match, only the matching ones from the left table. Okay, so this is the third type of uh, joins. The fourth one is basically the full outer join. So full outer join fetches records from both the table, wherever there's a match on table one or table two. The syntax is similar. Only thing is you will have to use full outer join and uh, you know, you use the same thing. I've written the query, but my SQL does not recognize full outer join. Uh, hence, I won't be able to, you know, uh, execute it on SQL Fiddle. If I try, if I try doing it, it won't support, and it'll throw out an error. Yeah, because it does not. My SQL does not recognize full outer join. But again, the it's it's only the problem with my SQL, and I'm using SQL Fiddle. That's the reason. Otherwise this will basically match up and return the values, okay? Going to the fifth one, which is the self-join. So self-join, as discussed earlier, it fetches the records from the same table having matching values. So what we are trying to do with this is, uh, in our example here is, we're going to find out customers who belong to the same city from the customer table. So if I just, in our example, if you see there are two people, Tom and Jack, they're from Baltimore. If, I, if you want to see who are the people who are from the same city, we can use a self-join. I believe we can use this using the where condition as well, but since we are uh, you know, doing the topic of joins, and this is one of the things uh, the interviewer might ask regarding what is a self-join. So you will understand what is a self-join. Syntax is same, sim syntax is similar, you select the column names from table one and table two. So if you see here, both the tables are same. It's just table one, but you're creating an uh, alias T1 and T2. It's just like you're calling the table one with an alias and then basically fetching it out. So I've written the SQL query and I'm going to just paste it over here. If you see here, go to create, create select the customer name 
and I've created an uh, given an alias. Similarly, the same table, we are using the same customer table, but we are given an alias for the table as E and B, and we are going to uh, see where the cities are match, but the customer number, you know, for two different people. So if I click on it, the <clears throat> run SQL, yeah, I'm pretty sure I wanted to get only these two records, uh, Tom and Jack, because they are the only people who are, uh, you know, based out of Baltimore. Again, we can use this using the where condition, but the self joint also tries to, you know, it fetches the records where there's a matching values in the same table. Yeah. Coming to the last one, which is six, the union. The union, as I stated earlier, it kind of, uh, mm, you know, merges the, the results from two SQL queries. It's not from the table, but from two SQL queries. So if you look at the syntax, it is, you know, whatever the column names from table one, union, all, table two. I'll, I'll tell you the difference between union and union all, but this is basically one select statement, union is a keyword, and then the another select statement, okay? So I've written the query already. So let me just copy. So we are basically selecting customer number from both the tables, customer and orders. So if I click on this, it's going to fetch up all the customer number from the both the tables. So if you see from our example, we have one, five, seven, eleven, and then we have one, five, eleven, and fifteen. And if you see, everything is listed. So this is the records from first table. Uh, this is the results of the query, uh, SQL query number one. It merged with results of SQL query number two. Let's say if you just want to you I want distinct values, remove the all, and then execute. It will sh it will merge both the uh, results and it will show you only the distinct values. So if you see these are the distinct values, one and five is repeated. That was basically kind of not displayed, so it's it's hidden. So it's only displayed the distinct values. So that's that's about it. So these are the different six types of uh, you know the joins uh, which which I would say the interviewer might ask inner, left outer, right outer, full outer join, self join and union. So I've, I've showed you the syntax and also executed in uh, a sample query uh, for you to kind of understand the different results from each of this join. Uh, and hopefully you can use this uh, uh, and try, I would recommend, uh, you, recommend you to go and, uh, sorry, was this, yeah. I recommend you to go to sqlfiddle.com. It's free. Just uh, create a table and then execute the queries which we uh, kind of uh, spoke about in this particular video. So that's about it. Uh, and again, thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Uh, did you enjoy this video? If so, I would again recommend you to subscribe to our channel if you're not already subscribed and also click on the bell icon so that you'll be notified when we put out new videos. And also, I've included the list of all the business analyst playlist. I think this is video number 12 in the series. So go ahead and check it out. If you're going for a business analyst interview, if you check out this like 12 videos of 12 videos which we have in the playlist, I will guarantee you like most of the questions will be from this particular playlist. Uh, the playlist is going to continue. I'm going to continue making it more more in-depth videos and uh, uh, hopefully, uh, you, you know, it will help again in cl clearing your interviews and you're going to smash it. Okay, so that's about it from this uh, week's video. Um, let us let, let me know in the comments below what you think of this and also any other topic you want to want us to cover and we'll get it covered in our weekly video series. Uh, thanks once again. Uh, we'll catch you in the next video.